So today in this video, I'm doing something a little different. I am going to be recreating a F-Log to Rec 709 LUT that I created that I use for my Fujifilm X-H1 log footage. I've already created it, but I'm going to go through and recreate it for this video. Um, also, it will be linked down below in the description if you are interested. So if you are a Fujifilm user and you use a camera with F-Log, you should be able to use this LUT for your log footage. So use the LUT. I will put a link in the description where you can get the LUT for free. Test it out if you like the quality, the way it looks. But anyways, let's get into converting this footage. All right, so we are starting in... Final Cut Pro. This is the editing software that I use to create all of my videos. There's two programs that I use, two plugins that I use in uh, Final Cut Pro. One is Color Finale Pro and the other is Dehancer. I use them both simultaneously and sometimes I just use one. If you noticed on the recent videos that I've posted, I think the past three, maybe five, I think three, maybe last five, I uh, have been using the Dehancer plugin and I'll talk more about them in a separate video, but I'm going to run through how I'm going to use it for the is for creating this look because there's a specific feature in Dehancer that I do like that really enhances and bring out the, the film quality and Fujifilm F-Log footage. Let's get started in here. These are the clips I'm going to be using. I'm going to grab an adjustment layer and we're going to rename this adjustment layer to Color Finale Pro. And then we're going to pull down another adjustment layer. And we're going to call this one Dehancer Clip. We're going to start off with Color Finale Pro. There is a way to convert your footage in Color Finale Pro without actually creating your own LUT. And that's just assume log, which would assume log, or you can do an input LUT where I have one here and we, you can also use the say ACES workspace um, since we use, but the thing is with this is that it doesn't have Fuji cameras in their conversion files. So you may just want to use assume log and it'll give you a, a log profile. We're going to just go to assume video because we're going to be creating a LUT from scratch, a conversion LUT where I usually like to start. Let's go back over here. Sometimes the plugin likes to act funny. I'm going to go down. I'm going to turn on false color just to see where the exposure is. And even though I overexpose it, as you can see, there's not too much that is overexposed really. So we really don't have to do much here. I just want to get rid of the yellow that is on. Let me reset this so I can show you what I'm, what I'm talking about. You see the yellow here in between these two and this one right here as well. It's just a little there. I'm just going to lower the exposure to get rid of the yellow. That's pretty much it. We're going to turn that off. So with this, you can add a little bit of contrast if you want directly on this slider. And we're basically already there. And you can bring back the midtones a little bit to brighten it up. So this is one way you can easily create a conversion look with Color Finale Pro. And this is what I mostly use. If you can go down to saturation, increase the saturation to bring some life back to the footage. You can check the colors again, turn on false color. As you can see, as we converted it, we brought some of the some of that light back, but we stretched the actual, we stretched it out a bit to bring back some life to the footage before we go into a full grade, but we're just converting it. First, we want to check the white balance. And we can do that by clicking where the white balance is. We're going to click the dropper and I'm going to head over to this white part. And what we want to do is match up these numbers as close as possible just to get the white balance. Yeah. So we corrected the white balance and now we want to go down to isolate. I feel like this is more of a <laughs> tutorial on how to use color finale pro, but this is just how I do it just to run through the process. And then we're going to check skin tones to make sure they're 
in a good area, good range. And as you can see, the skin tone line is here and it's pretty much like on the line. Like there's really not much else you really need to do to it. It's like right where it needs to be. And then we can get rid of that. And there you go, convert it to Rec 709. Just by doing that, we are going to go to Dehancer and there's just one effect that Dehancer has that I definitely like. And where is Dehancer? So we're gonna go to, to Film Emulation. We're gonna drop that on there. As you can see, there's some effects already in Dehancer that has already been applied, but we're gonna turn the Film Emulation off. We are going to turn off the print. We're gonna turn off color head, film grain, make sure everything else is off. And then we're gonna go back up to film compression. We're gonna turn that on, turn that off for a little bit. And now, as you can see, what film compression does is the lighter areas in the footage, it compresses it. But where we're gonna start is turning the impact down and increasing it a little bit until we get to where we like it. And then this is the white point. And as you can see, it's bringing some of the white back where it's compressing it. And what film compression does to the image is that when you shoot with a digital sensor, it's easier to overexpose and blow out your highlights. And what film compression does is it compresses the footage. But in my experience, it brings back information that you can't really see. It makes it seem like you can see the information that was lost. The white point brings back the white, but we're going to compress it down a little bit. I think all the way up here is a bit much, and it basically makes all that back there looks like look like mush. So we're going to bring it down a little bit, and we're going to check the white point. I think that's good. And we're going to check the tonal range. And this also brings back some of the information. And then we're going to check color density. I think that's good. We're gonna bring back up the color wheel. We're gonna go back to Color Finale Pro and we're gonna check the skin tone. And it's still on the line. All right, that's good. I'm gonna go back to Dehancer, lower that. And this is pretty much the footage converted to Rec 709. The LUT is down in the description. Once you download it, I believe it'll give you a prompt to where you can leave feedback want to make sure that I can tweak this LUT to where it's usable for anyone who's using a Fujifilm camera. That's pretty much the the purpose of creating this. This was a little different, a little more slower than what I usually do. I definitely talk much faster in my other videos, but I wanted to take my time and run through this and convert this footage. If you made it this far, <laughs> you're awesome. But uh, I'll see you in the next video.